So, um, Andrew, I just wondered why you wanted to bring this DC uh, graphic novel series to the big screen, and if you could give us a bit of an insight into going about adapting it. Sure. Well, um, as you probably know, the graphic novel was written by Ali Masters and illustrated by Ming Doyle. Ali is a Brit, so um, a little nod to the British in the, in the movie. Um, you know, I read the book and thought, I have never really seen that kind of story before. I, I mean, you know, it is genuinely an authentic, gritty mob story with all of the tropes that you come to expect from a mob story but with women at the center of it. And it just sort of seemed like such a, the second I read it, I thought that is such a no brainer. Why have we not seen that before? People are gonna wanna see that. Um, and I, I just felt like this was something I had to work on and I had to do. And how open would you say the producers were to um, a female led movie in this genre or just in, it's, it's just in different genres general than, you know, the industry seems to be comfortable with, oh, women leading a comedy maybe, but. Well, I can only speak to my experience with yeah. this project, but, the, the project came from the studio. The studio had it, they sent it to me, they hired me to write it, you know, they hired me to direct it. They have wanted to make this movie and they were supportive of this movie and gave us the proper money that we needed. I mean, it was really, you know, it was, it was no half effort. This, they, were, they were really invested in telling the story. One of the things that I really loved about the film most was the fact that the three leads are together so much. Yeah. We see them as a trio. What did you enjoy about that aspect and seeing them work together, the three of them? Well, it's funny that you point that out because obviously when you make a movie, you do a lot of what we call coverage. So you would have a shot with all three of them and then you would have single shots on each one of them. And um, Christopher Tellefson, the editor, and I always had this phrase when we were editing saying, when in doubt, go to the three shot because the three of them together are magic. Their chemistry is amazing. I don't know if you've seen them yet today, but they adore each other and they love each other and they, you know, you can feel that on screen. You can feel how they look at each other, even when it's, you know, not one person's moment, it's somebody, they're, they're there supporting each other. It's, it's in the little details. Um, and I think it's, it's so clear on screen how much the three genuinely like each other. So it was with intention that you see the three of them together a lot. We knew that their chemistry was amazing right away and we decided to just go for it because we knew audiences would want to see it too. And weirdly it's something that's quite rare in movies as well because we are used to those single shots or right. we can kind of tell, oh, they probably weren't even there that day. But <laughs> right. <laughs> right, well, that would be pretty bad. No, they were all there, I swear. We, were, we had them all in the shot. <laughs> Um, and tell me about the production design, your guiding principles for the look of the film, the cinematography, and the, the locations, so you're using real locations as well. Sure. Well, there's a few, few questions in there, but yes, we shot the whole thing on the streets of New York. We had one week on a sound stage in Long Island, but otherwise it was all locations in New York. And Shane Valentino, our production designer, killed himself finding, you know, the appropriate um, locations that still looked authentically gritty 1970s because the New York no longer looks that way. And then on top of all of his production work, you know, we had quite, there's quite a bit of, of visual effects work in the movie. At least 50% of the movie has, has computer generated imaging in it. Um, and, you know, costumes go a long way. Sarah Edwards, the costume designer, did such incredible work. The women look amazing. And, you know, Sarah and I kept saying, we have to find the looks from the 70s that look cool to our eyes today, not the looks that are embarrassing. We worked incredibly hard to, to make it look as authentically 1978 as possible. And just finally, I love the film's soundtrack. Could you tell me about some of the choices there and the use of that element in, in the film? We had so much fun with music. I mean, especially my experience of coming off of Compton where I would sit with audiences and watch how much music moved them. I mean, they were people were literally dancing in their seats and feeling it, and it was emphasizing the themes and the ideas all the more because you were moving them. So when it came time to make this movie, I knew that music would be integral from day one. Um, in fact, when I went into pitch as a director, I handed out um, USB drives to all the executives with playlists on them. Them of songs that I was inspired by. Um, I think music is incredibly powerful. You'll see that we, we have such a cool soundtrack and a, and a really, really interesting score by Bryce Dessner. Um, just beautiful, moving work that he did. So, you know, we, we spent months working on the music. Andrew Bella, thanks very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.